world, Shelly here, and today I am coming at you with a look at what I packed for my two-week trip to Ireland, which I just got back from. I got back in late last night, and so I am coming at you dehydrated and unexfoliated because I did not bring my Clarisonic with me, and jet-lagged and all that good stuff, but I had an awesome time. It was sort of a half-work, half-pleasure trip. I'm preparing for next summer when I'm going to be teaching a six-week study abroad class over in Ireland, so I wanted to get a lay of the land and meet some people and see where we're going and all that good stuff, so it was awesome. But I also wanted to pack somewhat lightly because I was only checking one suitcase and I didn't want to worry about doing makeup every day. I knew I was going to wear makeup every day, which just about every day I did, but I didn't want to have so much on me that I was going to feel like I had to put on a full face every day. So here is my tote bag. I'm going to see if they still have this on Sephora's website. I really, really like this bag. I got it from Sephora and it's really good for travel. It's compact, it's padded, so it sort of protects everything and it holds a whole lot of stuff. So what I'm wearing on my face today did not come out of this bag. I'm going to show you guys everything that I brought with me. And first up, let's, let's just dig in here. So I did bring my clean sweep that's now got cat hair on it. This I had gotten at the dollar store. This is one of those like spongy things that you... Uh, used to to clean the powder off your brushes without using liquid and so you can switch colors without switching brushes which is nice so my general goal was to try to bring no more than one of everything so one blush one concealer one mascara etc i did exceed that in a few cases but let's just start out with face products so i did bring two foundations and i ended up only wearing one I wore the Ordinary Serum Foundation and this was fabulous. It held up great over time, uh, long days, weather, sweating, raining. It was just wonderful. As a backup, I did bring my Estee Lauder Double Wear because I know that this survives long days and weather very well, but I didn't need it. I could have gotten away with just bringing the Ordinary Serum Foundation, so that worked out wonderfully for me. I did also bring my Super Goop CC Cream, which is what I use when I'm just going to do a powder foundation. I use this as my base. I ended up not using it, so could have left that at home. Another thing I could have left at home, I did bring my e.l.f. under eye loose powder. This is the under eye setting powder. The thing with loose powders when you're traveling, like... You don't know if you're going to be putting your makeup on on a windowsill or in a hotel bathroom with no counter space. It's just too messy to do loose powders, and I found that this was just too messy to use, so I wasn't using it. I was setting my under eye and setting my whole face with my Laura Geller uh, Balance and Brighten in porcelain, and this ended up being perfect. It is the only uh, face powder that I brought with me, and it served its purpose wonderfully. On the face, I also brought, surprise, surprise, L'Oreal Glam Bronze as my bronzer. The one blush that I brought, and this was, I don't know, it was kind of a last minute risk because I really hadn't worn it yet, but I brought the Wet n Wild Color Icon in pearlescent pink. I was very, very, very happy with it, so I don't know if it's an exact dupe for orgasm, but if you are looking for a cruelty-free blush that is similar and very reasonably priced because it's Wet n Wild, check this one out. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It it might make it into favorites because I, uh, I just really liked it. It was really easy to wear no matter how much of a face I was putting on. For highlighter, the only one I brought was my Physician's Formula. This is their Shimmer Brick in Natural Nude. And the reason I wanted to bring this guy with me is because you can also use some of these as shimmer on the eyes and things like that. It just works out really, really nicely. So I wanted that versatility and I love it as a highlighter. It's beautiful. Of course, I brought my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. That is the only eye primer that I brought with me. For concealer, I brought only one. Now, I knew I was not going to be doing a total full face every day, so I wanted a lighter concealer, maybe a slightly lighter coverage, especially if I wasn't going to do much in terms of foundation. So I brought my Too Faced Born This Way because this is not super high coverage, but it blends out super easily, so it's really easy to wear, even if you're only doing powder foundation for the rest of your face. So that is the one I brought. It worked out fine. I went super basic on the eyes, and I have to admit, 
I was a little bit bored <laughs> and, but I figured I, I assumed there was a possibility that I was going to be buying some makeup while I was over there. And so I didn't want to pack a ton of things. I also figured I didn't want to risk breaking any of my expensive eyeshadow palettes with the amount of traveling I was going to do because I was flying over there, of course, and then there were going to be taxis and multiple buses because I visited, I started out in Dublin and then I went down to Galway and then I went over to Cork and then I went back to Dublin. So there were a lot of buses and taxis and things like that involved that I just didn't want to worry about breaking any of my expensive makeup. So the eye makeup I brought with me was the Makeup Revolution light and shade palette. This is a dupe for Kat Von D's shade and light palette, which I just got before I left and I haven't tried it yet. I am going to compare them side by side for you. And then I had gotten from my BoxyCharm last month, this Real Her eyeshadow palette. And it just, it's, it's pretty much neutrals with some mauve stuff. And that's kind of my everyday color palette. So I brought that. I really did enjoy this. It traveled well. It's a little dirty, but nothing got beat up. And turns out that I had forgotten to bring a mirror. So it's a good thing. Oh, don't look at my messy desk. But it's a good thing because this is the mirror that I used for the entire trip. And I also brought my Kat Von D little shade and light eye palette, the plum quad, because this is just such an easy grab and go kind of a I look, forgot primer, I brought one face primer, Urban K, Urban Defense, love, 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 and you just can't beat having extra sunscreen on your face. For eyes, I broke the one of everything rule and brought two of my Stila Magnificent Metals. I have this one in Kitten Karma and this one, what is this one? Molten Midnight. These things are ridiculous. I love them. I just got the new reddish color that they put out. I haven't used it yet. It came right before I left. Happy, love, used them a bunch of times. Brought one eyeliner, the Physician's Formula. Uh, Ultra Black 2-in-1 Lash Boosting. Love it. It's a dupe for the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I didn't really use it because I didn't go to the length of bothering to put eyeliner on most days, but it's okay. It's okay. For brows, I brought one brow pencil, my Rimmel brow pencil in black brown because it is the only pencil I have that is dark enough for my preference. And I do love the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder duo in granite, but then you're also bringing, you know, a separate eye brush and I just didn't want to deal with the mess. So I just brought that. Worked out fine. I didn't do my brows every day anyway. Urban Decay, this is their 24-7 waterline pencil in black. Used that every day. I brought one mascara with me. It's the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. And it was perfectly awesome. I will say, I've had this probably maybe six weeks now. And it's almost dried out. So this thing, while I have been using it just about every single day, it's not a very wet formula of mascara. So it, I think it will dry out faster than a typical tube of mascara. That said, for being such an amazingly identical dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex, highly recommend it. I did not wish for any other mascara while I was traveling. This served my purposes every day, whether I was going for a fuller eye look or natural. Love, love this mascara. Another thing I brought, this is just gonna have to be retired. It is my It Cosmetics CC Plus powder. And I usually use this when I'm doing the super goop and just doing a powder foundation. And it's it was already broken. So I, you know, every time I travel, it gets more and more broken. So I keep it in this baggie and it's probably, should we look and see how dead it is right now? Let's see. It's probably completely destroyed at this point. I do already have a backup, but oh my gosh. Oh, well, you know. Well, there's still some usable powder in there. If I want to make a disastrous mess every time I go to use it. Whew. Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Must have. Okay, the one area I went overboard was lips. I brought so many lipsticks, it's kind of stupid. I really should have curated my list just a little bit better than I did, but I didn't, so let's show you what I got. 
So I brought four of the Superstay Matte Ink lips. The fourth one is that light nude shade, which is in my purse, which I forgot to grab. I only wore two of these. I wore the nude and I wore the pink. I wore the nude far more. I wore that more than any other lip that I brought with me. That lip, since it's not very dark, I was able to go two full meals, 14 hours, never touching up. And since you won't really see the wear away at the very center inner lip, it, it was just phenomenal. So these held up great. I only wore two of the colors, like I said, but of the two weeks I was there, I probably wore them eight days out of the two weeks. So thumbs up, they worked out wonderfully. I brought my two Pirates of the Caribbean lips that have the lipstick and the gloss topper, did not wear them. They're beautiful. I was just into the matte superstay. I brought my Silk Stone that I just checked out. You guys saw that video last week. If you didn't, I will link it down below where I swatched a bunch of these, brought this one, did not wear it. Brought one of my backups. It's the HD Sand number 700, the Revlon. These are their Ultra HD lips. And this is kind of like, if I don't know what to wear or I have to be super fast, I wear this. It stays in my purse all the time. I brought it with me, did not wear it. Brought the Ofra Liquid Lip in Tuscany that I had gotten in my last BoxyCharm, did not wear it. Brought one of the Ultra HD Revlon mattes. I do love this color. What is the color? HD Glam. Love this color, did not wear it. I brought two of my nudes. This is Nature's Blush from L'Oreal Color Rouge, and this is L'Oreal as well. Unending Kiss in the Infallible line. I do wear them a lot, but I did not wear them on this trip. These usually live in my purse. I brought my L'Oreal Infallible Paints. I actually like this. This one's in Spicy Blush. I did wear this once. And of course, I brought my Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in Rebel Rose. I wore this two or three times. I also had my Buxom Plumping Gloss in White Russian, which I just wore a few times on simple face days. Went way overboard with the lips. I should not have brought so many. What ended up happening was I had a bunch of them in my purse that I forgot that I had in my purse. And so I threw them all in my makeup bag. And that was that. And for tools, I brought, this was also from BoxyCharm, the crown brush. I think this one's crown. The name is already worn off. The one that had the cap on it, I think it's crown. Foundation brush, loved it. Worked out perfectly with the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I brought one sponge, Real Techniques, Miracle Complexion sponge, Shiseido eyelash curler, and brushes. I did my best to be as minimal as I could with brushes. So I have my, this is what I use for bronzer and sort of contour, it's a Real Techniques brush. It Cosmetics 212, this is what I apply my eye primer with. One fan brush, this came from a BoxyCharm as well. It's a crown fan brush for highlighter. I have the Sedona Lace brush, also I think from a BoxyCharm. This is eyebrow brush, a Real Techniques blush brush, I have several Real Techniques eyeshadow shader brushes. These are just flat, small shadow brushes. One flat shadow brush, this is Wet n Wild, that I use to apply any kind of base color uh, that I'm setting my primer with. And then a few more. So I brought my It Cosmetics. This is, how am I gonna do this so you can see me and hear me? This is an It Cosmetics flat foundation brush. It's a powder brush. This is my Kat Von D loose powder setting brush, and then a few of my Wayne Goss eye brushes. I brought my Makeup Geek Outer V brush and my Sigma E25. So that is what I survived with brush wise. I do prefer having a lot of brushes available to me, but I think I did okay at curating a list. I did not feel like I needed anything. I felt like everything was okay. So. That is everything that I brought with me makeup wise to Ireland. I was there for 13 days and it traveled really well. As you saw, there are a few things I could have left at home. I will remember that next time I am packing, but 
I did buy a couple of things while I was there and I will be doing reviews or uh, get ready with me or something with those things. I bought a couple foundations, so we'll have a couple foundation Fridays to go along with this in Foundation Fest. I'm looking forward to sharing all of that with you. There you have it. That's what I packed for my two week trip to Ireland. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let's me know to keep on making things like this when I travel, just show you what I brought with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have yourselves a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world and take care of each other. Bye-bye.